I am Jan and I put the adverts so you don't have to. <laughs> so today I brought quite a few different things, just what I could gather from Sainsbury's. They're all things that I've seen advertised on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Adverts for these specific products have been popping up literally everywhere. I tried taking screenshots of them, but yeah, I can't stop seeing these adverts no matter what social media platform I go on. So I went to Sainsbury's and brought as many of the products as I could. So we've got quite a few different drinks, but actually not mostly drinks. I don't really know what it is, but social media definitely thinks I'm dehydrated. But this is all I keep getting advertised. It's just drinks, different healthier substitutes, or try this instead of energy drinks, or this is a better protein product. So we're going to try them all out today. The first product we're going to start with is these Tensing Natural Energy. I do love an energy drink, specifically, normally I go for the Red Bull Sugar Free. Um, these kept copying up for me. I will insert some screenshots here, hopefully. This was the only flavour I could find at Sainsbury's, which is the natural one, so it's not quite the one that's been advertised to me. However, I've still never tried it. So this is the original flavour. But the main point of this is that it's a more natural energy, purely from plants, low in calories, and it's meant to be, like, sustainable. I don't know, or carbon negative. So I guess that is a good thing, but let's see how it tastes, because that's honestly the most important part. And um, they only sold them in four packs, so I really hope I like it, because I'm gonna be drinking it for the next few days. Um, also, I'd like to point out that it's five o'clock in the evening, and I'm about to crack open an energy drink, so cheers. I don't quite know how to describe this, but I think the best way I can describe it to you is it's like Red Bull mixed with lager. Like, I do get a hint of Red Bull. It's definitely got that energy drink flavour that all energy drinks have. However, it's not a nice aftertaste. It tastes okay, and obviously, when I'm buzzing at 6 o'clock, I'll let you know how much energy it gave me. Oh, what I do for you, too. Like, the initial nap feels nice, and then immediately after it hits me, I'm just like, says, nice. You've just discovered the new way to energise yourself, purely from plants. Green coffee, guarana, acerola, Himalayan rock salt, green tea, lemon juice, beet and fruit sugar. Um, so I'm guessing the aftertaste is coming from, I guess, the green coffee and lemon juice. I guess it's that kind of vibe, maybe? Yeah. Sparkling water's the main ingredient. It does actually taste a bit of sparkling water, I won't lie. And lemon juice. I think maybe that's what's giving me the lager vibe. Uh, it just, it's not that nice. Like, I'll definitely drink them. It's not the worst thing I've ever drank in the world. However, it's not the best. It is definitely really refreshing. I think on a summer day, I would definitely down one of these. Overall though, the branding and the adverts clearly works. And so overall, I'd probably give the Tenzing Natural Energy Drink a 6 out of 10. Next up, we've got these, which are Take a Trip. Um, these are CBD infused sparkling water, I guess? Because it's not gonna be an energy drink, that would completely defeat the object of it being CBD infused, calm you down, but also give you energy like that. Up and downs, that just doesn't work. So these actually did come individually sold. So I was able to get two different flavors. I've got the peach and ginger and the elderflower mint. Um, so the back of the can says, take a trip to find your calm amidst the everyday chaos. It's 19 calories, 50 milligrams of premium CBD, and zero grams of added sugar. It's a sparkling drink infused with CBD and fruit juices. Natural botanicals for your body. I think the general vibe of this is it's just a sparkling drink, and from the adverts I've seen, and a lot of the comments in the adverts, people say they drink these in the evening for bed to help them wind down. And some people said on like nights out, they would drink these rather than alcohol and they really enjoy them. So yeah, I think the idea is if you have anxiety, these are really good replacements for a drink on a night out or just a drink if you're stressed in the evening rather than having alcohol. And I think that is such a cool idea as someone who doesn't really drink alcohol anymore, specifically because I have anxiety after drinking and it elevates everything. I really like the idea of this, so I really hope I like the flavours. Um, so I'm gonna try the peach and ginger first. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's, <laughs> my nose. That smells very strongly of ginger. Yeah, I don't think I'd like this one that much. Um, so let me preface this by saying, as I said the you drink, I'm not the biggest fan of sparkling water. So I don't know why I thought these would be amazing. <laughs> This one tastes a 
lot of ginger. I think if you're a big ginger fan, you'll love this. I love ginger with lemon, but not with peach. It's a bit weird if you ask me. It's okay though. Um, so let's try the elderflower mint. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot more. Oh, this one already smells nicer. Oh, this one's so much nicer. This is very refreshing. It's almost like, if you're on the night out, this would be just like drinking a mojito. It honestly tastes like the M&S mojitos my, mother's buy, my mother buys. I could see myself drinking this in an evening to wind down. I definitely could. So um, don't worry, by the way, I'm not gonna waste any of these. I am just gonna put them in my fridge and drink them on a different day. Because you can drink them in three days normally, they just lose a bit of fizz. But yeah, I'll probably finish this one this evening. So on the scale of one to 10, I would say these rate probably an eight. If they work, and I think I'm actually gonna calm down after them, nine. Because overall, I think the packaging's really cute. The advertising's effective. It reached its target audience, because I am definitely the target audience. And it does what it says on the can. And I think that's honestly everything you can ask for. So if it works, I'll give it a 9 or 10. Next is Fuel. Whoa. The branding is just like so manly. Like, I just... Fuel. <laughs> um, but that's how it makes me feel. So I keep seeing Fuel advertised. It's not the specific ones that I keep seeing advertised. However, these just are what appeal to me most. And I didn't want to waste anything. So these are the breakfast drinks. I got chocolate and banana. I'm assuming they're just like milkshakes. So there's 20 grams of protein per these tiny bottles according to this, which is an insane amount of protein. Um, I got banana and chocolate because they're the two favorite flavors. I think, oh, I don't know which one I wanna try. I kinda wanna try banana. Okay, let's do it. I think it'd be so much nicer cold. Um, again, with this, when I rate it, I'll include an edited version for when I've tried it cold. So good. So good. So banana milkshakes is one of my favourite thing. And my normal problem with protein milkshakes is they're way too thick. So this being a breakfast milkshake and having 20 grams of protein per bottle is insane because it tastes so good. Actually, cannot describe to you. It doesn't taste thick. It doesn't taste bitty. It just tastes like a milkshake, like a regular nice quick milkshake. So, I'm giving this obviously branding and everything perfect target audience reach because I love banana. I love the packaging. I'm definitely trying to get more protein in my diet. So it's definitely reached its target market as an advert. So yeah, and I like this is warm and I love it. So can you imagine how nice it will be cold tomorrow morning? I can't wait. Obviously I haven't tried the chocolate, but I'm sure it tastes just as good. I'm sure it tastes like nice fruit chocolate and I cannot wait to try it. So these are probably getting another nine or 10 out of 10. Braze. Does anybody else just get advertised braze all the time? I think that adverts are just set to everyone and anyone. Now the thing about braze is it's actually meant to be a subscription service. However, I'm not about to pay for the subscription service for multiple reasons. One, I don't really like subscription services. Two, most of their products are nuts. I do not like nuts. <laughs> and three, I just don't, yeah, this doesn't appeal to me. So I think they're already deduct to a point because they did not hit their target audience in this scenario. But I did get these, which are the salt and vinegar crunch. Um, this is salt and vinegar flavored, broad beans, corn hoops, and salted corn. If I was going to get the subscription box, this is the kind of thing I'd get. So that's why I chose this when I was in Sainsbury's because they have like quite a, basically the whole selection, I think. Oh, look, there's a, you get a free box. There is a code at the bottom here, which gives me a free box, which I think is quite a nice little thing. Yeah, they're really nice little snack portions. And it's just the kind of thing you'd get with like, you know, you're on holiday at a bar and they just give you these. That's, that's literally what they are. They're so good though. It's just a shame because that most of their products are things that I just wouldn't want. But overall, packaging, the actual products are pretty decent. I do like that they give you a free box code. So I'll probably give it a six. Like it's not my, like seven? Yeah, seven. It's not my fault that I don't like most of their products, but these taste really good. So yeah, I just would glue, deduct some points because they didn't hit their target audience. Next, we have Lint Classic Recipe Vegan Smooth. 
So this is made with oat drink, which is absolutely fine to me because I love oat milk. Um, I actually am not a vegan. I am lactose intolerant, however. So I really do like, they have now come out with a linked vegan range. When I saw the Facebook ad for this, I nearly screamed. As a lactose intolerant person whose favorite chocolate is Lindt and Lindor's, seeing that they have started to go for a vegan range, made my day. <laughs> and Lindt chocolate is honestly one of my favorite chocolates. It's just so smooth. So I'm hoping they will actually do a vegan Lindor one day. That would be incredible. But for now, let's see how this tastes. I'm interested to see like whether this is more milk or quite intense, rich chocolate. Okay, it's definitely not compromised on quality. It is just as smooth and just as tasty. You can definitely tell it's made with oat milk. It has that like slight hint, but honestly, it's still really good. And I would definitely purchase this again to save my guts a lot of hassle. Just so people are aware though, even though it is made with oat drink, one of the main things is it is made with the finest cocoa with oats and smooth almond paste. So it does contain almond paste and nuts. So just be aware of that if you are allergic to nuts. This is actually contained nuts, so. I think quite a lot of chocolates actually contain nuts, but just, just to make people aware. Obviously, rating this, target audience hit. Packaging is definitely made to look very eco and sustainable, which I guess is whole like the vegan thing. They have a very high-end brand, that's what I'm going for. And this packaging is giving off that vibe, but it's definitely giving off the earthy vibe as well. But I'm not a big fan of it. I'm sorry, I've got to say it. I just don't, something about this packaging irks me. Um, so for that reason, I'm probably not gonna give it the packaging marks. But other than that, the product is still incredible and they have not slept on quality. And that is honestly where it really matters, especially when your whole brand is around sweet chocolate. They nailed it. The final thing is missing. I've seen them advertise in quite a few places. Again, predominantly on Facebook, but also a bit on TikTok. And this really got me. Cookie cream flavour protein powder. Like, can you imagine making waffles with this and stuff? Oh, and they've got like a breakfast cookie shaped recipe on the back. Add three level tablespoons to 300 to 350 milligrams, at uh, 50 millilitres of milk. But they haven't put milk, obviously. That is such a cute little detail. So obviously because it's a protein plant-based vegan powder, they've put add 300 to 350 milligrams of M star LK. So it's like milk, but it's not milk. Nice little detail there. Shake or blend with ice and joy. And you can also add to your smoothie, porridge or baking. Consume in the morning or as a snack or after exercise. I love the packaging of this. Um, as I said with the milkshakes earlier, I have a bit of a history with protein shakes. I often don't like them. That smells good. Um, I often don't like them because they're really like bit and bitty. But we shall see. A few moments later. So this is made with pea protein and organic sunflower protein. So if you were wondering what the main ingredients were for that, they're the two top ingredients. That tastes like an Oreo milkshake. Has a slight aftertaste. You can definitely tell it's pea protein from the aftertaste. I think I definitely prefer these. Both have 20 grams of protein per 330 ml drink. So these both work out the same amount of protein. So this has got like loads of servings in it. You definitely get more money's worth out of this. Even though it's quite a small bag for like some protein powder bags are massive. But I think honestly I could live for drinking this after the gym. It is dead smooth and it does taste like cookies and cream. Because this being with cold milk just takes it to that next level. So overall, packaging, amazing. Target audience again, amazing. Because that's the only problem with this. Yes, I'm trying to get more protein. But actually, it does contain lactose, which is something I didn't even consider. It is a milk drink, not a vegan product. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If there's any products you want me to try in the future, please leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like me to test next. Now I am going to chill out and watch some friends.
Bye.